What's going on today, guys? Just pulled up to the bridge. We got crystal clear water and a high tide. And I'm looking down seeing sheep's head all over the place. Got a bucket full of mud crabs. I'm ready to go. Let's get this started. We're off kilter, just a little off kilter. We're going fishing. Let's go. Nice one. On the outside of the mouth. This hook I'm trying today, it's a Salt X by Tsunami. That's a 14 and a quarter. They are down there today. Just short. Oh, come on. Gotcha. There's a decent one. Thirteen and a half. What are you doing? All right, we're sitting at dead low. While I've got a minute, I'm gonna teach you guys a faster way to tie the bowline knot. We all know the classic rabbit comes out of the hole, around the tree, and back in the hole. There's a faster way. All you gotta do is basically tie an overhand knot, pull it to you, and wrap. That's it. All right, let's get back to fishing.
they're biting again. Hey guys, I've had enough for today. The bite just shut off at about 11 o'clock. I caught a couple little ones afterwards, but man, they were biting good this morning. And just on a whim, I, I decided to look at the so lunar table for today and they were calling for a major period between 8 and 10 a.m. And that's when I got on those fish this morning. So, you know, the moon and the sun play a big part in, in what we do here on earth and it affects the animals and everything you know I, I've met people that swear by that thing I, I don't really follow it I haven't really looked at it much but today it, it definitely rang true and so I'm kind of curious if you guys follow that or if you've ever looked at it or maybe you want to in the future and see um, how it affects your fishing or your hunting trips so but anyway, have a good rest of the day, and we'll see you guys next time. We're off kilter, just a little off kilter. We're going fishing. Let's go.